Okay, so I'm trying to repeat uh, Nathan's double fields uh, experiments. I have a iron rod, welding rod that I stuck into the ground, and a copper wire. And I've been placing them at different places. It looks like it's almost 0.2 volts at this distance here. One rod there, the other rod is over here. Okay, I'll try pulling this guy out, sticking it in a different spot. I was up to four, and now it's dropping, 0.4. Okay. I'll pull this guy out. The voltage goes to zero. I'll stuff it in here, 0.2. That's at a different location. Put it back over here. Oh. 0.25. Okay, well... Maybe we'll try to. He, he said that um, if you put it under the roots of the trees, it produces more power. So I guess we have a tree over there. So maybe we'll try to move it over there and see if it produces more voltage. Because that would be more power, definitely. Okay, so here we have our tree here. And put the voltmeter down here. Now, I just wanted to make a statement. Um, I've been looking into. Uh, a new form of energy which I've been calling psychotronic energy and uh, of course conventional wisdom would say that this is uh, just a galvanic reaction but I think that uh, there is another form of energy in the world that has not really been explored some people call it different names okay looks like I'm not getting any you know just in the mulch right now I'll stick it down into the grass down here Still not getting any response. Anyway, I believe that this energy might be related to psychotronic energy, and that's why I'm doing some research into it. Okay, okay, there we go. I guess the voltmeter got hung up. So it's about 0.23 volts at the base of the tree. Come on. Okay, now at that point it's higher. Point three. So the voltage here near the tree seems to be a little bit higher. We'll move the uh, the rods around to a different position. Okay, it's a little bit lower there. Maybe if I move them close together. Point two four. So I'm thinking that this might be a way to possibly detect this strange new energy that I've been looking for. This might be a this ethereal energy. Okay, it's going up to about 0.4. Anyway, but it's something I want to investigate. If you don't ever look, you'll never find it. And I'm fairly certain there's been many, many researchers in the past that have uh, stumbled upon this uh, life energy or psychotronic energy and uh, I believe it is real and so let's investigate it a little bit and see now Stubblefield said that not every location was uh, you know hot with this energy and so we want to look around try to find a good location to try to tap into this energy so we can do research on it. So I believe that it is a different form of energy. It's similar to electricity, but it's different. Oh, it went up to about 0.5 that time. I don't know if you saw that. I first stuck it in there. 0.5. Okay. So anyway, we'll do some research using uh, bi-metallic electrodes to try to uh, See if we can repeat some of Stubblefield's uh, experiments with the Earth batteries, which I don't think really were a battery. I don't think they really worked on galvanic a uh, action. According to the writings, the the batteries that he buried produced huge amounts of current, and when he dug them up, they uh, they didn't have hardly any corrosion on them. They weren't uh, degraded from corrosion, so it, I don't think it was a chemical reaction that was going on, and I done other experiments that lead me to believe that there is a new, f another form of energy that 
produces electricity without uh, degrading the uh, chemical potentials of the, uh, the metals that are being used. So we'll look into this some more. Okay. Okay, here's a different tree here. And I um, have the electrodes placed here and there. It's about 0.3 volts, but when I stick it in, it seems like the voltage goes up to almost half a volt. See there, it's almost half a volt. And then it kind of drops as I take the electrode. Get up. Let's see if we can get the glare off of that. Yeah, 0.5 volts, 0.4 volts, 0.3 volts, mm -hmm. 0.37, oops. Okay, so we have one electrode here and another one over here. And we're putting out almost a third of a volt. Okay. And there are the roots of the tree. Okay. Let's try a different location and see how it behaves. Okay, so here's kind of just out in the middle of the grassy field. And here, I'll just pull this out and stick it back in. Oh, it's got, I guess it's going up to about 0.5 when I'm sticking it in. Now it's down to about 0.4, 0 0.3. Now supposedly, when you left them in the ground for a while, they would develop more energy. So we might have to do some long-term experiments to look into that. Okay, again, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm using uh, two different types of electrodes, two different metals, iron and copper here. And, uh, well, I'm just trying to stick them into the ground at different places. This is uh, Nathaniel Stubblefield claimed that uh, different places carried different amounts of this energy that he was studying. I don't think it was just electrical energy or galvanic action. Okay. But, uh, okay. So here is a river bed. Got a beautiful river here. Stream, I guess. And here is some of our electrodes down here by the stream. And Let's try just sticking them in here. Okay. So it looks like we're getting about 0.25 volts. Try sticking in some different spots. And again, let's set our voltmeter up a little bit. Okay. And there we go. Point two. Let's try to put these a little bit closer together. Okay. Point two three five. So it's actually not quite as good as it was under the tree. We'll try some other places maybe. Okay, so here is a tree by the river, and uh, let's try sticking these probes in near the roots of the tree. That looks like about 0.23. I'll try moving them around a little bit. Okay, that's worse over there. And then here, about 0.3. Okay. Oh. Okay, and there the voltage is a little bit higher up here. If I stick them both in up here, about 0.5 right there. So definitely different places in the ground seem to produce different voltages. Okay. Okay, that's about 0.4 there. Again, this is under some tree roots here by the river. Okay. Okay, that's about 0.31 volts right now. Okay. 
Okay, very interesting, huh? So, we'll look into this phenomenon a little bit more. Let's see if it's just galvanic action or if there's something else to it. Okay. Anyway, this is odd. Ooh. Anyway, this is uh, Dr. James, and thanks for watching.